Good day everyone! It is my great honor to present to you my action research entitled Improving Learners Mathematics Problem Solving Skills Through Guided Discovery Learning. My name is Aileen M. Sancho, a Master Teacher 1 of Marcus Elementary School. Mathematics is one of the major subjects to be learned by the learners. Learners must know the basics in mathematics in their elementary years. The Morgus Elementary School aims to produce learners that equip with mathematical approaches that can easily help them to apply in their real-life situation. However, our school is facing a problem in our learners' ability to solve mathematical work problems especially to our grade 6 learners. Diagnostic test result given before the start of the classes revealed that 65% of the grade 6 learners' population are unable to solve mathematical work problem. It is very alarming because solving mathematical work problem is very essential to every learner. Anderson 2009 points out that learning problem solving in mathematics helps learners to acquire ways of thinking, habits of persistence and curiosity, and confidence in unfamiliar situations that will serve them well outside the mathematics classroom as problem solver. In this regard, the researcher believes that using guided discovery learning in teaching mathematical work problems in grade 6 will improve learners' performance in problem solving. The big question is, can GDL really help in improving learners' mathematics work problem solving skills? Yes, with great extent. According to Wang Bo, 1999, as cited by Louis Bill and Rob Mill, 2014, that in the guided discovery mode, the teacher provides illustrative materials for students to study on their own. On Wang Yi, 1999, as cited by Louis Bill and Rob Mill, 2014, a learner is active in discovery learning and provides for individual differences as well as makes the process of learning to be self-sequenced, a goal directed, with a goal perceived, and the pace self-determined. This study will assess the effectiveness of the guided discovery learning on learners' performance in solving mathematical work problems. Specifically, this research answered the following questions. First, what is the level of learners' performance as measured in the pre-test and post-test? Second, is there a significant difference between the performance of the control group and the experimental group as measured in the pre-test and post-test? This study was conducted to improve the level of learners' performance in solving mathematical work problems through guided discovery learning. The research subjects of this study were the grade 6 learners from sections Lavender and Maroon. The study was conducted in Morgus Elementary School. Capatagan West District Division of Lano del Norte. The barangay has a distance of, of 15 kilometers from its municipality, Capatagan. The Morgus Elementary School is a non-central school. The total number of teaching staff is 11, including the subject teacher. The school is headed by an, an elementary school principal. The teaching force of Morgus Elementary School continuously makes every effort in providing better access to quality education. The researcher used the quasi-experimental design 
specifically the pre-test post-test control group design two groups were subjected to two different methods the guided discovery learning and the lecture method sampling in order to have two homogeneous groups samples were drawn based on probability sampling techniques random sampling where the population is divided into two groups and finally drawn whole randomly as samples thus each subject got the same opportunity to be sampled the participants of this study were the 62 grade 6 learners from sections lavender and maroon of margas elementary school after which the two classes were randomly divided into two groups the experimental group and the control group for the data collection This process involved by obtaining official permission to conduct the study from the school's division superintendent, after which the researcher secured permit from the principal of Margus Elementary School to push through this study. This study used of a teacher made test. It was consisted of 30 mathematical word problems. The researcher used the cron box alpha to measure the internal consistency or the reliability of the test each problem was solved by the learners before the teacher made test was given to the participants it was face validated by experts in mathematics and it was pilot tested to grade 6 learners of dungguan elementary school the respondents were first identified based on their performance and achievements during the diagnostic test. The whole grade 6 learners of Morgus Elementary School were divided into two groups, the experimental group and the control group. The first group, the experimental group, was administered by guided discovery learning and the second group, which was served as the control group, that employed with lecture method. Prior to the administration of the two groups with the two varied methods, they were given a pretest to measure the change performance to the post-test results, which were to be made after the administration of the two methods. For the ethical considerations, the respondents were given informed and parental consent they were assured of confidentiality and also their participation was free will. For the data analysis, the data gathered were analyzed using statistical package for social science or SPSS. The following were the treatment made for the data. Mean, the overall performance of the control and experimental groups was computed using the arithmetic mean t-test to determine the significant difference between the group using the direct learning and the group using guided discovery learning in terms of their overall performance in the pre-test and post-test. Results and discussions Reliability Table 1 The reliability statistics of the teachers made test as shown in the table the internal consistency using the Cronbox Alpha is 0.727, which indicates an adequate consistency of the individual items. Table 2 Frequency distribution of the respondents according to pre test and post test of the control group. As shown in the table, that before the implementation of direct learning to the control group, one out of 31 of 3% of the respondents had high mathematical performance. 11 out of 31 or 36% had above average performance level. 14 out of 31 or 45% had average performance. And 1 out of 31 or 3% had low performance all the respondents had 
a mean score of 17.1935 which indicated average performance in mathematics before the implementation of the direct learning. Table 2 also shows that after learning the concept of problem solving, specifically problems involving division of decimals, mixed decimals, and whole numbers, the respondents in the control group had increased their performance from a mean score of 17.1935 to 19.1290 one out of 31 or 3 percent of the respondents recorded high performance 20 out of 31 or 65 percent of the respondents gained above average mathematical performance 8 out of 31 or 26 percent of the respondents had average performance and 2 out of 31 or 6 percent got below average performance none of the respondents who belonged to the group got low in mathematical performance the control group had an above average performance as indicated by the mean score of 19.1290 table 3 frequency distribution of the respondents according to pre-test and post-test of the experimental group table 3 shows the mathematical performance of the experimental group group before the implementation of the guided discovery learning initially one out of 31 or 3 percent of the respondents had a high mathematical performance 12 out of 31 or 39 percent had above average performance in mathematics 13 out of 31 or 42 percent of the respondents had an average performance in mathematics and one of all of 31 or 3 percent of the respondents had a low mathematical performance level collectively the experimental group had a mean score of 17.4194 in the pretest, which also indicated an average mathematical performance after the implementation of guided discovery learning approach was used in the experimental group, the researcher administered a post-test. 24 out of 31 respondents get high mathematical performance or 77% of the grade 6 learners. 7 out of 31 or 23% of the respondents had above average mathematical performance. None of the respondents who belong to the group scored below average and low in their mathematical performance the experimental group had a high mathematical performance as indicated by a mean score of 25.5484 in the post test table 4 the comparison of the pre-test of the control and experimental groups on the performance test It can be viewed from the table that the computed T value negative 0.182 is less than the P value of 0.857 at 0.05 level of significance. This means that in terms of prior knowledge, there is no significant difference in the mathematics performance of the learners in the control and experimental groups this indicates that the experimental and control group were comparable at the start of the study table 5 test of homogeneity of variances the test results show that the f value of pretest is 0.0 Zero 01 with a significance of z 0 0.971 this value indicates that pretest data has the same variance because the value of significance 0 0.971 is greater than 0 0.05 
In other words, the pretest results of both groups are homogeneous, based on the calculation of normality and homogeneity that has been conducted. It can be concluded that both classes have the same mathematical ability at the beginning of the experiment. Table 6, the comparison of the post-test of the control and experimental groups on the performance test. As shown in the table above, the computed t-test value of negative 8.85 is beyond the critical t-test value of 0 0.000 at 0 0.05 with the degrees of freedom equal to 60. This means that there was a significant difference in the post-test mean scores and the performance test of the control group and the experimental group. The performance of the learners in the experimental group was better than the performance of the learners in the control group. Based on the, these thoughts, guided discovery learning method gave a very big influence on the learner's learning assessment in mathematics, especially in solving word problems. The results of the learner's learning problem solving in mathematics taught by guided discovery learning method was different from results of the learner's learning problem solving in mathematics taught by direct learning method. The learners taught by guided discovery learning method produced higher learning results because the learners were more active and were able to cooperate, mutual support to empower each other in order to achieve the desired learning objectives. Achieving learning goals through guided discovery learning took less than less time when compared to the use of direct learning method. Thus, it is assumed that the learners who were taught by discovery learning method had a higher learning assessment if compared with direct learning method in problem solving in mathematics. The benefit of guiding discovery learning, which is discovery process, will improve students' concept of understanding and problem solving. That's according to Saptonu and Senen 2009. Solistiwati Widudu and Sumarni 2012. Figure 1 graph of mean scores of pre test and post test of the control and experimental groups and the performance test. Fig figure 1 above illustrates the big improvement in the scores of the experimental group compared to the control group in the pre test and post test. It shows that learners in the experimental group performed better than in the control group. Guided discovery learning as a strategy in teaching problem solving in mathematics for grade 6 learners facilitates better understanding than direct learning. Based on research findings and conclusions, the following recommendations are hereby forwarded. First, teachers should attend seminars, workshops, conferences, and other professional development gatherings, particularly those related to construction of guided questions as a part of group guided discovery approach. Second, mathematics teachers should devise and implement group guided discovery approach to further improve learners' performance in mathematics. Third, further researchers should be conducted on the effectiveness of group guided discovery at different year levels to verify the result of this study. Thank you so much and that would be all.